Hi and welcome to Data7 Embroidery Products. In this short video I'm going to show you two aspects of design merging. One, how to merge two designs and two, how to merge monogramming with a design. First let's open the EDS program. Next we're going to load our first design. So we'll click on the open button choose the design, in this case I'm using ABC and open it. I'll choose no to fit in the screen. Now we're going to insert the second design. For this we choose the edit menu option, merge a design and then we can choose either to merge the next design at the start or the end of this design that's already loaded. I'm going to choose end this will show you the design gallery and the designs you can choose to insert. We already have the ABC loaded and in this example I'm going to choose a design I created earlier called monogramming. I click on the monogramming design and click open file. What that's done is it's merged both the designs but it's put a block around the monogramming, uh, the second design. This enables me to move that design, position it where I want it to be in relation to the first design. So I'm moving the design down below ABC because that's where I want it. At this point I could rotate it, mirror it or flip it or make the design wider or narrower but in this instance I'm just going to position it. Once I'm happy with the position I can either click the exit button as shown here or simply press the enter key. This will redraw the designs together in the correct positions. Because the monogramming design is already marked as a block, if I wanted to move it again, I could do that. Either by right clicking, showing the contextual menu and modify, modifying the block selection. This will enable me to move it around and again pressing the enter key. When, it's, when I've got it into the new position. The other way I can do it is by selecting the edit button and modifying block selection or pressing Control b This achieves the same results. This time I can move it to the top, press the Enter key and that's in the right position. If I'm happy with the design I can then go ahead and save it or in this case I can center the design first ensuring that the start point is the center and the end of the design is the center and then I can go and save it. So if I'm happy with the design I can click the file button, save design as and I can export it to any different uh, format that we used before. In this case I'm going to save it as the Data7 uh, native quick expander design under ABC merge design and click the process button or the save button. There's our new design. Okay in the next example I'm going to show how to merge a design with monogramming. So I'll close the design uh, save dialog, choose to create a new project and ne next load up the monogramming feature as you see at the bottom here. We have many alphabets to choose from but in this example I'm going to use just simply uh, block. Here's some pre-typed text that I'm going to use, monogramming and I'm going to create that monogramming now. Okay so there's our monogramming uh, but I actually want it to be an arc to go around the design so I can go back into the monogramming feature choose the line style to be an arc click create monogramming and this time it shows me an arc indicating the radius of which I can change using the up and down arrow key until I get the right radius okay that looks about right I'm going to press the enter key and there we have our arc 
Next we'll save the design as an expanded design because currently this is a condensed design which allows us to manipulate the design, make it bigger or smaller and it will compensate for stitches. I'll talk more about the condensed format in a later video. There are two ways we can save this as a condensed design. We can right click to show the context menu and save design as or we could simply go into file, save design as or save expanded as. There's already a, a file called monogramming which I'm going to overwrite um, and then click the save button. So yes, I'm going to over, overwrite that design. So next I'm going to load up the design that I've just saved or I could refresh this design uh, like that. Uh, and now I'm going to choose the design I want to merge with this design. So for that I click the edit button as I did before, merge a design but this time I want to choose uh, at end, which means it's going to insert the next design after monogramming. So the word monogramming will show first and then the inserted design will show, uh, show second. This is showing me the uh, design gallery as it did before. I'm going to use the same design A, B, D, A, B, C, D and click open file. As before, it's inserted the design, which is uh, over the top of monogramming because it saves second as I wanted it to. And so now I can position the design using the mouse, or if I wanted to fine move the design, I can use the left, right, up and down arrow keys. When the design is in the desired place, I simply press, press the enter key again. Okay, so there's our designs merged. Lastly, because the design is no longer centered, as you can see indicated by the circle and the cross, indicating that's the, uh, the start and the end of the design, I actually want the design centered uh, for framing up, making framing up much easier. So it's going to be about here. I just simply click the center design button. So what this has done is it's inserted the necessary jump stitches to actually center the design. So the design will start here where my uh, mouse button is, my mouse uh, arrow is. It will jump up to sew monogramming and then return back to ABC to finish the monogramming. In a later video I'll demonstrate how to clean up these jump stitches to and from monogramming using the point editing facility here. But for the moment I'm going to simply stick with this design and now I'm going to save this design as a, into a format that I'm going to use on an embroidery machine. So like before I can right click and save design as. I can choose any format uh, I wish uh, that's uh, supported with the Data7 products. In this, in this case I'm going to choose uh, uh, HUS format, HUS format and I'm going to call it monogramming plus ABC. Click the save button and there's our design merged with monogramming finished ready to sew on a, a, a Viking or Husqvarna machine. Okay that concludes this video on how to merge designs either two individual designs uh, or a design and some monogramming. The principle is exactly the same if you want to merge more than two designs, simply save at each stage and then follow the same steps again to merge three or four designs. Thank you for watching this Data7 Embroidery video.